Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning everyone. First and foremost, my name is Herenti Awang Omar and today I'll be presenting my research paper titled Reviewed Assessing Slope Stability in Sabah, a Comprehensive Geotechnical Technical Analysis. Without further ado, let's start with an abstract. Rainfall has been recognized as the primary factor contributing significantly to landslide incident globally. This is attributed to rainwater infiltration resulting in fluctuation in groundwater level which play to crucial role in landslide occurrences. This article reviewed the previous study on the relationship between rainfall intensity towards slope failure. A summary of this present research was conducted and it is apparent that rainfall intensity is one of the factors contributing to landslide. Ultimately, rainfall leads to significant landslide affecting pore pressure and frictional strength. On this presentation, I will go through this item, introduction, previous study and research gap, and conclusion. Introduction. Sabah is located in the northern part of the island of Borneo, which is part of Malaysia. Sabah is home to the famous Mount Kinabalu, the highest peak in Southeast Asia, located in the Croker Range which is part of the larger mountain range that runs through the state. Sabah terrain is marked by roughness, primarily defined by the Crocker and Trusmadi range, Mount Kinabalu standing at 4,100 meters above sea level, is the region highest peak and is Malaysia inaugural World Heritage Site. This peak, a granitic pluton, spans an area of approximately 120 square kilometer and emerged around 7 million years ago, cited by Cotton et al. 2010. Alongside the granitic pluton, the Croker formation comprises Oligocene to Lower Miocene sandy turbidites while the trismodi formation consists of agrilite slate, siltstone, sandstone, and volcanic material. Dense tropical forest blanket saba and experience the monsoonal climates characterized by distinct season from November to March and May to September. Rainfall levels exceed 3,000 mm per year but fluctuate consider due to the region diverse topography. According to the National Slope Master Plan established by the Ministry of Food Malaysia, Sabah mountainous terrain has led to approximately 6% of landslide occurrences from nine from 1973 to 2007 a proportionate contribution compared to other Malaysia Malaysian states figure 1 in the national slope master plans display a heat map outlining landslide prone region in Sabah and Sarawak Rahman and Mark Jabil 2017 noted a total of 21,000 landslide prone area in Malaysia with 3,000 of these located special, specially within Sabah. Sabah has consistently experienced a noble, notable number of annual landslide occurrences due to its specific geomor 
topology and terrain. Table 1 presents a documented history of landslides in Ranau and Kota Kinabalu, Sabah from 2012 to 2023, sourced from local news report. The table illustrates that all these landslides occurred during the rainy season in both regions, aligning with Rahman and Majapil 2017, Findings highlighting the prevalence of landslides during Malaysia rainy periods. As you can see on the screen right now, this is the list of landslide events at Sabah for the over 11 years from 2012 until 2023. Okay. One of the factors that causes slope failure is continuous rain. Rosley et al. 2022 mentioned that landslide triggered by rainfall are frequent occurrences in Malaysia attributed to the country's equatorial climates characterized by tropical rainforests rainforest, and two monsoon season. The southwest monsoon from April to October and the northeast monsoon from October to February. This review is done to get a more comprehensive information regarding slow failure due to rainfall intensity. Now we will go to the previous study and research gap. Previous study was screened and analyzed to identify the gap related to rainfall induced landslide to identify the research gap. The table 2 shows the summary of the research gap for the study. From this table, we have 9 researchers that research um, the rainfall relationship between the slope. I will not go through this uh, table, but I will conclude this table that the review show all researcher found that rainfall intensity can indeed contribute to the occurrence of landslide. When rainfall is intense, it can saturate the soil, increasing its weight and reducing its stability. This saturation weakness of soil's cohesion and increases the likelihood of slope failure, leading to landslides. Additionally, intense rainfall can also increase the runoff of water over the surface of the soil. Further, uh, further destabilizing slope and potentially triggered landslide. Therefore, rainfall intensity is an important factor to consider in landslide risk assessment and management. Okay, to conclude my presentation today, this is my conclusion. This review has reported mainly on how rainfall intensity plays a significant role in triggering landslides. When heavy rain occurs over a short period, it saturated the soil, increasing its weight and reducing its stability. This can lead to soil movement downslope, causing landslide. The intensity and duration of 
rainfall as well as the characteristic of the soil and the slope all contribute to the likelihood of landslides occurring. That's all for today. I'll ending my presentation. Thank you very much.